And of a sudden, the blackness rolled away and a radiance of light shone upon them. And below, bathed in green grass and blue seas, was the wondrous land of heaven. The children drank in the beauty of the rolling land covered by a misty sky flicked with white clouds. Every reach of land opened a new experience of wonderment for the children. The green meadows, the wooded land singing with the music of tiny birds, the vast seas that played with the sandy shores of foreign lands. Then their eyes turned to the rising mountains that grew from green to brown to white. And they gasped in awe as they saw their God standing on the very peak of the highest mountain. They drifted with gentle winds and landed on the mountain before God. The tiny hands rubbed in bewildered eyes as they saw the greatness of their God. The elders and ancestral humans were mistaken. Only now had the human race reached its inevitable destiny. Only now had they shed that despotic ruler that had held man enslaved through all time. It had been life itself. Angels flew above the children's heads and sang songs of praise to God in his newborn flock. And, as any good shepherd would do, he led them to the meadows of green where they would live as children far into the misty distance of time. For, gentle listener, this was the beginning of the end of the end.